Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number, who knows, of Quantum Leap. We're still on character two, that's what's important. So I'm starting to, to relabel the series based on the number of jumps we've made because it's kind of easier, I think, for people to, to, to jump in and like see each phase of the series. So we're going to just call it that. So I don't know, what that's like 15, I think, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. So we're at war. Uh, Christmas music, as always, because it's still December. It's like the 29th or the 30th right now. And, um, bu bu bum, we're maimed in 48, so we're not long for this world, I think. I think it's funny, we're, we're maimed, but we are an organizer, so it's like we've got like a, a peg leg or something, but we're really, really quick at moving around on it, you know? Um, so let's see, I, I have a feeling we're about to die horribly, because, um, you know, we need to have good commanders here. We're in the mountains, we're, we're trying to get the Byzantine Emperor to come and foolishly commit some troops across Hellas. Um, into the mountains. So a straight crossing into mountains gives us a pretty good chance, but we're gonna need really really good commanders here. Preferably people who have like mountain combat, that type stuff. Battlefield Terrain Master would be pretty good just because the likelihood of him... I don't even know exactly what that means. Narrow flank plus 50%. Is it 50% more likely? Is it like 50% of the time he'll do it? Or like, how does it work? Who knows? But um... It's definitely going to be a good idea, I think, to try him out. Maybe we throw him on one side. Can we please, 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 please find some mountain commanders? Maybe we can, like, import some. Um. Hmm. What if we did find characters, search all, or men, sort by marshal, and let's just see. Let's just let's just take the moment here. This is important. You know, like, obviously we can't, uh, okay, so landed characters we can't take, so we'll, we'll get rid of those. Rulers, no. Sort by this. So we've got, uh, this dude here with 24 marshal. Like, this guy with 29. Doesn't even have any, like, things. Pursuit, defense. Now, like, on the off chance that he can actually be invited to court, that's what I'm hoping for. It's close. Maybe foot troops. It's such a small chance. Okay, so false religion. Okay, my religion. Yes. Holy warrior. This would work. We're fighting the Byzantines or Orthodox. We're Catholic. Please? Damn. There are, um, some people. Like, some, it's... As I say that, of course, n no one will show up and actually be willing to. But let's just like click through and I'll show you a few of them. If you really, really, really wanted to min-max, you could just spend lots of time right now trying to find characters that would be willing to come to your court. The other thing you could even do is you could sort by their opinion of you. Generally, what causes them to be willing to come is they have to have a claim on their liege's land. If they have a claim on their liege, their liege will have the penalty. Liege is unable to, to uh, like, do something with claims. Liege is unable to press my claims, which allows them to leave. See, like, there we go. That's it. Captain Alptikin is unable to press my claims, so he has a claim on the Turkish Turkic company, and his liege is the captain of the Turkic company, so he can't press the claim because they'd be giving up his own land. So then he has that penalty and you can actually pull a 19 martial guy out of wherever he is. So like if we want to just fight him to court, we could. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to actually be arriving in time for us to actually use him in combat. So it would have been better to do this kind of thing earlier. This guy's actually pretty damn good. You know, morale defense plus 30 39, actual defense plus 19.5. But um, anyway, we could spend tons of time on that. We're not going to spend any more time on that. I'm just really concerned that we don't have good commanders. You know, like, maybe is my my marshal. Do we need to get him out there? He's brave. Yeah, let's get him out there. We'll put our marshal. Do I not allow him to lead? Here. Let's get our marshal out in the center flank. I'm not going to lead because I'm not actually that good. I'm good at moving troops around. I do have... Well... I guess I have some. I, I guess we'll put ourselves in the center. I mean, we're not terrible. I say we're probably better than the some of the other choices. But I'm really concerned that this battle is not going to go well. I mean, let's just see what happens. 
If we lose, then this this is gonna be bad. Yeah, I just have a feeling they're coming. I know they're coming. Okay, so we did get this guy in time. <clears throat> Thirty-nine percent morale defense and twenty percent actual defense. Perhaps we do want to use him. He's he's better than I am. Way better. And then this guy was just cruel. But he's got 19 marshals, so he, he makes for a good actual marshal. You know that the Byzantine Emperor is going to be coming. Look at this. The armies are coming. They're coming! The British are coming! Here they are. See, look at that. Now, what do we got in here? This is the army of Pantol Pantoleon. 1585 heavy cavalry. Oh, crap. So even though we've got close-ish troop counts, right? They've got, what, a 33%, maybe a 30% advantage on us. 30% is pretty easy to offset just with a mountain defense bonus, let alone the straight crossing, but they're heavy cavalry. We're screwed. I'm screwed. Yep, yeah, so the straight crossing looks like it's about, about 17, 20, somewhere in that vicinity overall penalty. Mountain bonus is about 20% bonus, so that's good. Let's, uh... Ooh, doo -doo. This is scary. So they've got Pantaleon. Amazing. He's a, he's a eunuch. He's a diplomat. And he's like, I shall lead the troops. <laughs> and you got this guy who's absolutely terrifying. Just absolutely terrifying. Oh my god. And then this guy who's got the flanker trait. But what we're really concerned about is these 1555 heavy cavalry. We have we have none. And they also have horse archers too. Holy crap. Where are the where are the heavy cav? They have 25 over here. They have 800 here. And 700 over there. So the left and the center flank are probably going to fall pretty quickly. We're going to play on speed like 2. So our dude here is uh was doing okay, but then this is what happens, okay? The problem is, you saw well, we were winning in the skirmish phase, but then all of a sudden it flips. And the reason for that is that when you look at the look at the actual total remaining troops, we can see their armory composition. I don't know if many people realize that you could just click right there and right here to go in and see them. The problem is that when you look at these heavy cavalry, look at those freaking attack and defense values in the melee phase. Attack value in the skirmish, 0.7. Attack value in the melee, 14! 14! <laughs> these guys have 17.1! You compare that to like our average defense, which is which number? Average flank damage. Average flank damage? No, I'm looking for average defense. Where's average defense? It's not good. It's like they're like triple. They're just really freaking strong. So they're gonna just crush us in the melee phase. And now these bastards are gonna flank. There's nothing we can do. Those heavy cavalry are so strong. Damn. It was a fool's errand to even try to go out here. Just disband. Just everyone disband. Go away. Okay, so we've just lost. There was a uh, that was a foolish thing. French war for Prince Adelmar's claim is not going to happen, unfortunately, because my idiot allies are just like, well, let's just hang out in Europe. Um, our new guy wants to become marshal. That sounds fine. I guess you can be the new marshal. Go train troops for me. Because clearly we're going to need them. So, hey, can we white peace maybe? Damn. It's gonna, he's not going to surrender. We have to hope that like some random problem comes up that causes his army size to get really bad. Now we have... Damn. Damn, damn. This is what happens when you lose your entire army. Duke Erdwolf for France. Duke Erdwolf is trying to put Duke Erdwolf of Flanders in charge of France. So that's this dude up here. And uh, his individual lance, he's got 1,500 troops or whatever. When you look at his strength, he's got 1,500 troops and I have not very many. So our only real options is just kill him. And immediately begin training new retinue. And this time we're not going to go... Didn't I make heavy cavalry retinue? I could have sworn I made, like, good retinue. But we're going to go with skirmishers this time. Because they're cheap. I can't really afford to build up a big fancy retinue again. They got slaughtered by those damn heavy cavalry over there. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. What's going on here? What are you? 
The Veronian League Independence War. I'm apparently helping King Lothair against the Duke of Verona. Okay, that seems like it's going to be going just fine. My allies. The French Coalition. Didn't work. Hey, there goes that problem. You didn't even find out about it, did you? Neener, neener. Ooh, and it's a genius bastard. Sibel, some random slut that I... I mean, character that I slept with. Um, made, a, <laughs> made a genius. The mother is most pleased. The other children are very upset with me for just a year. That's fine. Just, just a year is not a big deal. So we've come a long way with this character. Uh, my wife is imprisoned by the King of England, somehow. Seems strange. Oh, he, she rebelled, that's right, and failed. Please don't kill my wife. I've made a baby with her. And she shall have a claim on that duchy. That's good. Hmm. Guess we go city taxes up a bit. We could use some more money. Truces are expiring with who? The Sultan. Sultan Almondur the Old. So that's the Umayyad king. Which means that if we didn't have that truce, we could totally attack over... Ooh. Three counties. That is a nice looking duchy. Gladly take those three. And I imagine that he's not very strong, considering he's got his capital sieged right now. How strong are you, sir? 1,600 troops. We could totally take you. Easily. So as soon as that thing goes away, we're going to attack him. Ten days. Go back to speed four. The other thing I need to remember to do is try to play a little bit quicker. Because it takes forever. We haven't actually ended the war with the Byzantine Emperor, but... That's fine. We'll just go attack somebody else. The ticking war score is going to eventually cause us to lose, and then we're going to lose a bunch of money. Um, but maybe, if all of this other stuff gets kind of taken care of, we might see the, the Carling dynasty like rally their troops together and actually go win a few battles against the Byzantine Emperor. Or, you know, like a Muslim might attack. Wow, this is all fragmented and fractured too. Got 22,000. Yeah, not likely. Damn. I was a little optimistic, thinking we'd be able to take them. Our full levy reinforcement. Uh, it's probably costing us a lot of money. Did we already pass that law? Good. So we're making good money. 123? Yeah, we're making quite a bit off city. It's not bad. No real problem, factions. Let's see, we could totally imprison a duke. This duke loves me. He's also content, so we can easily throw him in prison and he won't be too upset. This is... It's important enough, though, that I think we need to... Um, to make sure that we capture him. So let's suppress revolts. Just to make sure, hopefully, that he doesn't rebel. And then we have to wait for him to make, like, two gold. And then I can release ransom him. Then I can build some more retinue. And some people were, like, critiquing me. They're like, oh, you're, you don't make sense because you, you know, you're willing to kill old men for money, but then you immediately release people. Well, that's because there's two things I'm trying to do. Sometimes you want to release someone for the plus 10 opinion with all of your other vassals. Like right now, we have no release to prisoner modifier. Notice it, it would be toward the top. It would say release to prisoner plus 10. We don't have one. So, like, with some characters, like, this guy's worth 145 gold or 15 opinion with everybody. Right now, I need gold. In three minutes, I might need opinion. It, it varies. Like, there is a method to the madness. So, there. That's all I have to say about that. Sound like Forrest Gump. Actually, we don't really need that, do we? We just need to split up over these three. Alright. Each one is large enough to handle anything that other guy can throw at us. So that will be fine. As far as tech goes, um, do we want to save up for this? 
Nah, let's just take the siege equipment. Start getting that spread. We can call allies. I think we're already allied in war with all these things. I have a granddaughter. Yay! That's great. He's just defending against me. I want to kill him. I want him to die. Can't really think of much else that I can do to destabilize their realm right now. And I also don't think we're in line to inherit anything. Oh wait. A few things in here. Nothing from me. Heir, King Joffrey the Great. That is me. Count of Vizcaya, Count of Orleans, Count of Perlots, because it just gave stuff away. County of Ulm. Yeah, it's just because I gave the land away to them. That's all. Well, we win this holy war. Um, maybe we can ransom that duke now. Indeed we can. Good. That'll help replenish the levy. The retinue, excuse me. And he should hopefully uh, still like us quite a bit because he's content. He doesn't really care too much about me being uh, throwing him in prison. So, let's see. Are we the one that was the drunk? No, I'm thinking of another, pl another playthrough. We need some more skirmishers. And wow, we're already at the cap? Seriously? I don't really feel like we had very much. And I do need to remember to move my guy back as soon as he's available. Because we do need to get that troop stuff going with these castles. That's the other thing we could spend money on is keep building things up. Like if we were to build up a, a barracks or get the militia training ground, get that stuff started. Definitely want to keep building those things. So, alright, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you again in the next video. See you again soon.